Hello and welcome to another episode of the Clever Dev. Today we are going to dive into aligning buttons inside of the MUI box. And if you're wondering why I'm using the MUI box instead of the stack in MUI v5, it's because more people are actually still searching for the box. However, I will show you how interchangeable those two components can be. They both render as divs in the DOM, and the stack just has a few more features. But anyway, if you want to dive into this code with me, then stick around. Before we get going, I want to mention that I have a link to full code in the video details, and also if you're interested in supporting me, then I'm trying a new program, an affiliate program with Pluralsight, where you can get a free 10-day trial, I get a small affiliate commission, and um, I really like Pluralsight because they have a ton of resources, they have tons of stuff on JavaScript, TypeScript, Git, and Java, and Python, just to name some of the ones that I've personally used or investigated. That's enough housekeeping, let's dive into the code. Here we are with the uh, foundational code that I like to start with to make these videos more bite-sized. So what I've got here is I've got a little bit of default styling in this const here, and I have uh, the four boxes that we saw. So this one's going to be top left aligned, This one, the second box will align the button in the center, and the third box will align bottom right, and then the fourth box will do um, space between. Actually, I take that back. I'll do space around. So space between would put as much space as possible between the two buttons. Space around will put some space between them, but an equal amount of space between each button and its respective side of the box that's containing it. So with that said, um, the default styling is not about the button alignment. It's just height and border and so on. Um, one thing that I will probably add in there in a little bit is display flex, because that's necessary for all four boxes. But anyway, I will show you what this very default styling is rendering as right now. So pretty ugly here, but you can see, interestingly, uh, we basically have our first button done for us. I'll go ahead and code it, but it just uses the defaults for justify content and for align items. So anyway, what that would look like if I did want to go ahead and code that would be always have to set display flex to get these buttons aligned properly and then the next thing that we care about is justify content remember um, we're using JSX syntax so we do not want to dash there so we'll say flex start and then align items flex start Eventually, if I give VS Code a moment, it'll help me out. <clears throat> so let's make sure that everything's as we expect there, so that's good. Um, so moving on to the next one, I'm going to leave these here. I'm actually going to take this display so that we don't have to re-code it. And I'll put it up here in this box default that I'm applying via SX on all of these. So what's next is, once again, we're going to use justify content. So remember, display is already, display flex is already applied. So justify content, and um, we are, I'm going to put center on this one, and align items equals center. Let's take a look at what that's rendering as. Got to make sure we have the proper syntax up there. There we go. So that is exactly what we want. Now let's actually take a step back. Let's just take a look at what happens if I strip off the justify content. Okay, so justify content's clearly controlling our um, our alignment to the left, center, or right in a horizontal sense, I should say. Align items is controlling our vertical alignment, top, center, bottom. So that can actually be flipped around if we mess with the flex direction, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, I'll give a hint of that when I flip to using the stack component. Let's go ahead and um, get our code a little bit better formatted. And now let's move on to getting the right alignment and bottom alignment. So you guessed it, we're going to use justify content again. And now we're going to call justify end. We're going to assign justify end. So the three, oops, that's not right, flex end. The three values that you'll use most often um, are probably flex start, center, and flex end. Although you may not use flex start that much since it's default, but you'll be implicitly using it. 
and then I'll go ahead and call my align items and once again this has a value of flex end and there we go so now for our final button here this one is mildly more complex I guess you could say it's already got display flex on it so let's use justify content and we will say space around let's just go ahead and look at that so that is exactly what I showed in the little intro clip um, pretty handy there and there's uh, there's just a handful of values in justify content that you might not use that much but space around and space between are my go-to's um, if I'm not using if I don't need more standard alignment so the last thing that I want to do I think is just align items let's see and I'll go ahead and do center on that again and let me think about that for a moment make sure there's nothing else that I want yeah I'll leave it at that so anyway let's uh, take a look at that okay so we've got that vertical alignment so yeah that looks really good there um, now the last thing that I wanted to mention like I said in the intro uh, this is MUI v5 syntax here that I'm using you can see the SX prop and of course um, these are special props that the box has and that stack has I could have uh, put them inside of the SX prop no problem so um, no difference there just a, a shortcut that MUI gives us because box and stack are so often used for layouts and aligning items and so on so anyway let me flip this to stack I've already got the stack import yep so let's get that in both spots here so all right as soon as it figures out that I've actually got good code um, or maybe I don't but I do all right anyway now that it's figured out that I have good code then um, I said that stack and box are interchangeable but obviously this is not what um, the box component was doing so let me just show that what is missing now with the stack is that um, it actually has a direction of column by default and I need to flip that to row and there we go now we're getting that same layout that we had a minute ago so that direction prop is just a shorthand for flex direction and um, they set it to column by default so that's why we've got that different layout so with that I hope that really clarifies um, I was using buttons because they're a very common component to want to lay out but it really works with pretty much anything I have a different video on aligning items in the grid because um, grids tables data grids those are kind of their own different scenario for aligning items um, they have their own systems and so on